Hey, welcome back to another episode of Whiskey Row. So today I'm very, very excited to be down in the speakeasy to bring you a video about the top six bourbons that are absolutely worth you hunting for or you going out to the store and buying today. Now I did a video not too long ago and I talked about five or six bourbons that are just, they're not worth it, don't buy them. And some of you guys really vehemently disagreed with some of the picks that I had and that's okay. We all have different flavor profiles that we like or we don't like. But today, I'm doing the opposite video. These are ones that are absolutely worth their price. They are not necessarily hard to find, but they're ones that the, the, the drinkability, the flavor, the complexity, what they bring to the table for the price are incredible. They're great values. And these are just six to me that just leap out as absolutely buy these and drink these instead of those six that I uh, that I showed you in that last video. Now, unfortunately, the first one, I'm actually between bottles. And here in Virginia, the Virginia ABC has just, honestly, it's been awful lately. They have not stocked stores well. We haven't had any special drops for over a month now of anything. And I'm talking about just even plain old Buffalo Trace, Eagle Rare, all that kind of stuff, just the basics, like basic, normal, special drops. They haven't been doing them lately. The stores are, are I don't want to say they're bare, but they are not not in good shape. Old Granddad 114. It's a tremendous bourbon for the price, but it's one of the best value mid-proof bourbons that I would highly recommend that if it's not on your cabinet, get it. Most places, except for Virginia, you can get it any liquor store. It's very, very available and it's often overlooked. It's got 114 proof. It's got a good mouthfeel, a good complexity for the price. Right around $30, Old Granddad 114 is an absolutely fantastic buy. So if you haven't checked out Old Granddad 114 lately, I definitely highly recommend that you add that to your list and check it out. Get a pour of it, pour it in a glass, sit back, relax, sip on it just a little bit. You'll agree with me, I promise. Now the next bottle that definitely bats out of its league, it's in a tremendous value, should be on your liquor shelf, and that is Wild Turkey 101. Coming in at 101 proof, obviously, Wild Turkey product, amazing, great value, legendary for $22, $24. This thing is, honestly, for $22, $24, this thing is very complex. It's got some great, great flavors. It's one of those that, Sometimes people overlook from back in the day in college, they drank wild turkey at college parties and it was blah, blah, whatever. Pick it up. If you're new to bourbon and you haven't picked this up because it's it's everywhere, you can get it easily. I'm telling you guys, this is really, really good. Wild Turkey 101 comes from barrels that are aged usually six to eight years, different parts of the warehouses. They just mix them together in giant batches and put them out. And it is absolutely, totally worth the price. And honestly, for 20 one twenty two twenty three dollars in most liquor stores for a 750 bottle it's absolutely the value is there all day long this is one that does not disappoint now this next bottle is it's a burai it's a, a bourbon rye it's a mix of straight whiskeys it's redwood empire lost monarch now this is in my opinion one of the best under $40 bottles that you can find. Usually get these right around $40. It's tremendous. Uh, Redwood Empire out in California, they're doing some really, really good stuff. Uh, last year they released the, uh, the the two bottled and bonds that were very, very special, very, very good. They were very expensive. They were like almost $100 each. This $40 and it's fantastic. It is again, it's not a straight bourbon, but it is absolutely delicious. If you are a fan of really good bourbons with great mouthfeels and great quality, this is totally worth it. At $40, I would easily spend much more than that to get this bottle. Thankfully, I don't have to because it's pretty readily available for $40. And even if it's not available near you, there's a lot of stores, particularly liquor stores out in California, that will ship it to you. So basically the cost of the bottle plus a minimal shipping fee, $10 or whatever, you can get this at your house for under $50. And to me, it is totally worth it. Next up is a quintessential Buffalo Trace Profile Eagle Rare 10 year bourbon, age stated, absolutely fantastic. The thing about Eagle Rare, some places it's a little harder to find, but in most places you can get them for right around $40, maybe $50 if the stores jack the prices up a little bit. can be a little hard to find, but it's completely worth getting. You're getting a 10 year age stated bourbon from Buffalo Trace, fantastic legendary profile, for right around $40, $50. 
And to me, this is worth it all day long. This is one that even though it may be a little harder to find, it's worth finding because it's not, there's not a huge premium on it. And at that price point, it's hard to, I, I can't think of very many other 10 year bourbons that 10 year age stated bourbons that are this good and this cheap. And if you know some, put them in the comments below and share it with the community because there aren't that many out there. Coming in at 90 proof, it's a little on the low side, but it's an extremely delicious, tasty, it's got a good mouthfeel. You get those nice 10 year age notes that are fairly prominent. And there's not really anything bad to say about it. There's few people I've ever shared an Eagle Rare with that did not enjoy it. In the previous video, I talked about uh, Weller Antique 107. And some of you guys did not like that I didn't think it was worth it. Well, I still don't think it's worth it. I, I understand your comments and, and whatever criticisms you had of that video, and I appreciate them. However, I still stand by it. I think Antique 107 is totally not worth it. I really don't care for it very much. And I would much rather have, I would much rather have Eagle Rare all day long than Weller Antique 107. And I like weeded bourbons too, so this is not that I have prejudice against wheat. I'd rather have Special Reserve. Anyway, go to go check out that video if you want to see some of the criticisms that I have of Antique 107. Anyway, check out Eagle Rare. This is a fantastic, fantastic bottle. 10 year age state of bourbon, $40, $50. This is one you cannot put in, in this kind of a category because you, it has to be in here because this is so good for for the price it's just incredible all right now here is a bottle i'm gonna show this to you this is 1792 single barrel coming in at 40 45 maybe 50 bucks depending if it's a store pick from your local store that's actually what i'm sipping on right now and this it's it's pretty darn good i didn't have one of these open so i had to crack the seal on this one and pour it it's a fresh pour but coming in at 98 proof everything's well balanced these things come, and I know it's a single barrel, so every single barrel varies, but every single one of these that I've tried has been really pretty darn good. Worth the money to get a single barrel 1792. So that, you know, it says they essentially think 1792 small batch, but the quality is ramped up a little bit and it's worth it for $40. This is absolutely fantastic. And again, your store may charge a little bit if it's one of their store picks or something, may charge 50 or 55. I probably would say that's worth it too if you trust that store but the regular single barrels nothing special about this single barrel other than the quality for the price i would easily pay upwards of 60 70 probably 75 dollars for this bottle based on the quality it's that good and kind of like the other bottles honestly i think the wild turkey 101 even though it's a 22 dollar bottle i'd probably pay upwards of 35 dollars for a wild turkey 101 if that's what they charge because the quality is there compared to the competition and for the Lost Monarch from Redwood Empire, I'd probably pay upwards of, what, the retail on's about 40. I'd probably pay upwards of 55, 60 for that thing. Eagle Rare, I think that's a $60 bottle, easy. And would have no problems if the standard retail price of that was $60. I mean, I don't want it to be, trust me. I like the, I like the, I like the prices a little bit lower these days. You know, the economy's not the greatest and bourbon prices keep climbing. So to be able to get Eagle Rare for $40 total, I, all of these actually, the prices, I love the prices on these ones. To me, the value's there for Eagle Rare. If they charge 60, I mean, other than the $20 price hike and us knowing it was, if it just, if they released Eagle Rare and called it Eagle Trace and they charged us 60 bucks for it and it was the exact same thing, I would be like, this is totally worth $60. Anyway, my point is Eagle Rare, Totally worth it. All of these totally worth it. There's just an ever so faint touch of cinnamon, this really nice caramel and maple syrup sweetness. It's got a good viscous mouthfeel. It's not super chewy, but it's not thin either. It's really balanced very, very well. And this particular one, I think I actually like better than the bottled and bond. The 1792 bottled and bond is one of my favorite bourbons for the price for, you know, under $50. The 1790 bottle is fantastic. This one to me is a little bit this particular barrel, this is actually really good. This is much sweeter than the uh, bottled and bond. You know, a hint of clove, hint of spice, hint of cinnamon, really nice, just caramel, maple syrup sweetness. It's hard to go wrong with this one, guys. If you get a chance to pick up one of these, I highly recommend it. How can you do a list like this and not have wild turkey rare breed? This thing from Wild Turkey coming in, at this particular barrel, this particular bottle is coming at 116.8 proof. I've had them as low as I think 114. One of the best values out there for under $50 to get a, you know, solid mid-proof bourbon, Wild Turkey, delicious mouthfeel, great balance of Wild Turkey, spice and, and character and depth, chewiness, sweetness. 
just a, a traditional like bourbon. It's not particularly sweet, but it's just a traditional bourbon profile. It's absolutely fantastic. That is an incredible steal of a value. I like my craft. I like my craft distilleries or my smaller distilleries, but for those I'm paying 60, 70, $80 a bottle in some case, sometimes a hundred dollars a bottle. And, and they're good and I like exploring them and I appreciate what they're doing. But when we talk about value, it's hard to get better than Wild Turkey. And I went back and forth between this and the Wild Turkey Kentucky Spirit, which is their, basically the single barrel version of this. And those are they're both legendary. They're both absolutely fantastic. And I actually was looking at the Russell's 10 year as well. When it comes to value in bourbon, Wild Turkey, like their core products, not their like special release or like Master's Keep stuff, but their core products, are probably one of the best values in bourbon. What you get from Wild Turkey, from the 101, the Russells, the Kentucky Spirit, the Master's Keep, the Master's Keep Rye, the Russells Rye, Six Year Rye, the, the, the what you're getting from Wild Turkey value-wise is generally out of this world. Now, obviously the Master's Keep stuff, you're talking $150 bottles and they're worth it. I mean, they're good. I liked, I've liked all of them. And for the most part, they're all worth the prices except for maybe the one, the Master's Keep one. But aside from that, they're, they're worth the prices, but their core line products are just out of this world value wise. So if you're looking for something to buy in these times when the budgets are a little bit tighter, we may not have quite as much money as we want for bourbon like we used to. Instead, we're spending money on groceries and gas and dealing with inflation and all of the fun things going on in the world. It's good to know that there are at least six that I've pointed out to you today in this video that are absolutely worth the dollars that you spend on them. And they don't break the bank either. They're actually all fairly affordable. So check these ones out if you haven't. But with all that said, thank you so much for watching this video. We so much appreciate it. If you ended up enjoying it, please smash that like button. Subscribe to the channel if you have not. If you like what we're doing here on Whiskey Row, check out Jamie's channel, Beyond the Row. We're doing some fun stuff over there. Almost every video over there, I'm in it. It's a chance for us just to kind of hang out and have fun together. And she edits it and she does the work on it. And I don't have to do it. And just wanted to give a special thank you to our patreons for your continued support you all are amazing love interacting with you on our discord server as well as on our patreon only live stream if you are in the virginia area and want to come meet jamie and i we will be at the park lane tavern in fredericksburg virginia this coming saturday the 23rd at 4 p.m. So come say, hey, meet us. Uh, if you're coming, please send me an email at The Whiskey Row. We're just trying to keep a, a rough head count of who's coming just so the restaurant has a, a clue of how many of us are gonna be there. So, uh, so send me a note, but hopefully we'll see you there. And until next time, find a bottle you love.